Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week five at the Stade Joffre Guichard, where Rennes ran out comfortable winners in their top of the table clash with Saint Etienne. Rennes got their noses in front on 33 minutes through summer signing Naya Fagerd, heading home his second goal in three games. It's the first time Lever have been behind all season. Their second goal also came courtesy of a new recruit, Cerro Gurassi, after fine work down the right flank from Roman del Castillo. Three goals and three starts for Garassi, who's up to eight in Liga Uber Eats in 2020, more than any other player. Well, Del Castillo and Garassi were later replaced by Rafinha and Adrian Hunu, and they combined for the third goal. A lovely lob from Hunu for his first league goal since March. 3 0 it finished, and with 13 points from 15, leaders ran off to their best ever start in the French top flight. Lille made the most of Saint-Étienne's defeat to move up to second in the table after a 2-0 victory at home to Nantes. The opening goal arrived shortly before half-time after a long ball forward from Jonathan Bamba. Luis Araujo was denied by Alban Lafont, but there was Zeki Celik on the follow-up. And in the end, it was the unfortunate Nicola Palwa who turned the ball into his own net. Well, Bamba later hit the post for Lille, who got their second goal in the last few minutes of normal time. Burak Yilmaz brought down in the area by Dennis Apaya, winning Lille's ninth penalty since the start of last season, which is more than any other team in the league. The Turkey forward, a summer signing from Besiktas, dusting himself off and opening his account in France. Lille are now two points behind Rennes. Montpellier remained third in the table despite only managing a draw with bottom side Dijon. Dijon making the most of a loose pass from Vitorino Hilton to open the scoring on eight minutes. Burst sent Selena Ting up Eric Abimbe for his first league and goal. An emphatic finish from the man who's on loan from Paris Saint-Germain. But Montpellier equalised five minutes into the second half. Even with his face mask, Gaëtan on the board had the vision to pick out his strike partner Andy Delore in the middle. That was 1-1. Dijon restoring their lead from a corner on the hour mark. Another assist for Selina as newly promoted captain Bruno Quelimanga looped in a header. His first league and goal since 2014. But Dijon failed to hold on for what would have been a precious victory. Another cross from the board late in the day. And English defender Jonathan Panzo conceded a penalty as he brought down to law. Teji Savania with a simply unstoppable spot kick. Joining Delore on three goals as it finished 2-2. Monaco are fifth after holding on to beat Strasbourg in spite of having two men sent off in the second half. Wissam Ben Yedda was the joint top scorer in Ligue 1 last season, level with Kylian Mbappe on 18 goals. And he put the Principality side ahead after a neat 1-2 with Kevin Follant. Monaco doubled their lead on the stroke of half-time. Lovely work from Steven Jovetic and Fode Balo Torre teed up Ruben Aguilar for his first league goal in Monaco colours. Strasbourg handed a lifeline at the start of the second half after some suspect defending from Benoit Badiashil. Ludovic Ajok setting up Mehdi Shahiri, who'd only come off the bench around 30 seconds earlier. But Nico Kovac's side restored their two-goal advantage seven minutes later. Once again, the result of the blossoming partnership between Follant and Ben Yedda. The former Bayer Leverkusen man putting it on a plate for the Monaco number nine. Well, Monaco then had Aurelien Chouameni dismissed for a second bookable offence, and they were reduced to nine men when Axel de Sassi brought down a Jork inside the area. A red card and a penalty. A Jork converted. He has now scored on his last three visits to the Stade Louis de, but Strasbourg failed to make their extra men count as it finished 3 2 to Monaco. Lance were looking to make it four straight wins in Ligue 1 Uber Eats for the first time in nearly 20 years as they travelled to Nîmes. Now, Kyle Kakuta has been on superb form since returning to his boyhood club this summer, and he provided the assist for Lance's opener. Ignatius Ganago with a lovely close range finish, which puts him joint top of the scoring charts on four goals. But Ganago was later forced off injured as Nîmes rescued a point at the death. A long ball from Anthony Briançon for runner Ripper, who did brilliantly here, teeing up Zinedine Ferhat for the equaliser. 1-1, the final score. After a slow start to their season, the champions Paris Saint-Germain are starting to slip through the gears. They picked up their third consecutive win at Reims on Sunday to go seventh in the table. Mauro Icardi finally ending a scoring drought that stretched back to late February as he put PSG ahead on nine minutes. Mbappe, the provider. 
And a clinical finish from Icardi to make it 1-0. The former Inter Milan man would then add his second goal in the second half. A brilliant team move. A 1-2 between Mbappe and Julian Draxler. And a simple finish for Icardi. 2-0 the final score. Andre came out on top of a five-goal thriller with Brest, despite conceding the opening goal after just three minutes. Jeremy Le Doiron brought down by Abdoulaye Bamba, and the referee pointing to the spot. Steve Mounier stroking it home for his second of the season. Andre then equalised for the first time on 22 minutes, as Ryan Ayat Nouri picked out Sada Tube. A fine left-footed finish from Tube, who's already matched his return of only one goal last term. But Brest restored their lead on 32 minutes, coming down the left flank, across the area from Le Doiron. And there was Gaëtan Charbonnier to sweep in his second of the campaign. Well, Brest could have had a couple more goals before half-time, but they were left to regret their missed chances as Andre turned the game on its head in the space of just two minutes. Ismael Traore, the captain, made it 2-2 on 78 minutes, volleying in from Pierrick Capel's corner. And then on 80 minutes, Angelo Fulgini fired in a winner for Ange. Bit of a helping hand from the Brest defender Christophe Herrell. But that was the winner, 3 2, the final score. Marseille are a point behind PSG and Ange in ninth place after they played out a one all draw with Mess at the Velodrome. It was visitors Mess who forged ahead on 71 minutes through the inform Ibrahim and Jan, the Senegalese striker drifting between the Marseille centre backs to head in Mathieu Udol's pinpoint cross. Jan scored all three of his team's goals this season. But Mess have made a habit of conceding late goals this term, and Morgan Sanson was able to salvage a draw for Marseille deep in injury time. A fine finish, but that's just two points for Andre Villas Boas's men in three home games this term. Another team struggling at home at Bordeaux, who failed to win at the Map Boot Atlantique since last December. Nicolas de Preville had their best early chance against Nice, but failed to get the better of Walter Benitez. The Girondins are becoming the first team in French top flight history to draw their first three home games of a season at 0 0. But Nice also had a few good opportunities, hitting the woodwork twice. They should perhaps have done better here, as Pierre Les Malou could only shave the outside of the post. In the second half, meanwhile, their summer signing Amin Gouiri crashed an effort back off the crossbar. 31 shots in the game, but no goals. Nice are in 10th place in the table, Bordeaux 12th. Well, Leon remain in the bottom half of the table in 11th after being held to a draw by Lorient. The promoted side took the lead on 63 minutes after a superb one-two between Johan Wisser and Pierre-Yves Hamel. Wisser showing great pace to slice through the Leon defence rifling home his third of the season. But Lyon managed to get back on level terms thanks to one of the goals of the weekend. Leo Dubois had only scored for the club once before in Ligue 1 Uber Eats in May 2019, but his second effort was worth waiting for. A superb individual goal to rescue a one-all draw. So all of the results on week five, 27 goals scored. There were five draws, three home wins and two away wins for the leaders, Rennes and PSG. Marseille and Lyon both coming from behind to rescue 1-1 draws. The top two in the table, Rennes and Lille, are the last remaining unbeaten sides in Ligue 1 Uber Eats. Quite the traffic jam for a place on the podium with four teams on 10 points, including promoted loss. PSG lurking a point further back in seventh place. Dijon and Rouse are bottom of the class. They've picked up just one point from a possible 15. And none of the teams in the bottom half of the table won this weekend. Leon and Bordeaux currently off the pace in 11th and 12th. PSG and Ange will kick things off next weekend, while Lance hosts Saint-Étienne on Saturday. Leaders run entertain Rouse on Sunday, while the last game before the international break sees Leon welcome Marseille in the so-called Olympico.